All right, for this video, we are here at Thunder Valley Dragway in Noble, Oklahoma. It's just outside of Oklahoma City. But this video isn't about that. Well, it kind of is. We're actually going to be talking about car insurance today. Specifically, we're going to talk about Root Car Insurance. Now, if you don't know what Root is, it's a brand new insurance company. And let's pull up the app here. And basically, they say they're cheaper because what they do to get a quote, you actually have to download their app and it tracks your driving to determine what kind of rate you get. And so I did this last week. So it's, it's going right now. It says I have 12 to 20 days left of driving. And what's interesting is you have to give it all kinds of permissions. It runs in the background. You can't ever shut off. Here's the other funny thing. If you try to screenshot, can't take screenshot due to security policy. That's kind of crazy that this app has that kind of control over your phone. But anyway, it can't stop me from recording it this way. Hopefully you can see it. So we got 12 to 20 days left. Now I've been driving really good. So we view my driving score. And you can see I'm 10 of 10. Look at that. I'm like pretty much in a perfect, I mean, can't get any better than this. Now, the way this thing works, the moment you get in your car, the moment you start it up and start moving, you instantly get that little root pop-up icon and it knows you're driving. It's got some pretty smart AI built in there to know when you're driving, when you're not. So now the question is, what happens if you go racing? Because if you're out racing on the street, they're not gonna insure you. That's gonna make this all bad. You're not smooth braking. I mean, you're accelerating super fast. Well, that's what we're gonna find out because I'm here at the drag strip because I am racing today. And this phone's gonna be in here because I'm gonna use this to use the drag EMP gear. So while it's going, since this app always runs, it's gonna find out I'm drag racing. Now, is the AI smart enough to know? Because it has a location, so it'll know I'm at a drag strip. Is it smart enough to know that I'm legally drag racing? Or will me going down a quarter mile jack this up and go down here? Now, I'm not worried about this because, honestly, I'm just testing it out. I got, like, free $5 on Stash, and I'm getting free extra stuff. So I doubt I'm going to switch to Root. So I don't care if it messes it up. But if it does, I will send them feedback about it. So let's put this away, get some racing in today, and I'll be back after the races. And we'll see. This may not update immediately after races. I may have to wait till tomorrow. But once this updates, we will finish this video and see what it does. So quick update to the Root. You can hear that car. Where is he? is I don't know how root all the ways that it knows that you're in a car driving um, I, I'm assuming a lot most of it also off a movement I wonder if it also does audio and it listens through the mic and listens to hear car noises because I was just out walking around I haven't driven this car in a couple hours now I was literally just walking around now it's right next to that car it says it started up and backed out of the trailer and all of a sudden the root notification popped up saying, hey, crunching numbers. And that's the notification that pops up when it knows you're driving. So I wonder if this thing's gonna all day long, every time it hears a car, cause drag strip, loud cars. I wonder if it's constantly gonna think that I'm driving still. <laughs>
All right, so now we are all done for the day. Sorry if it's a little loud after run my AC on full blast. It's hot and humid, and I just got done swapping wheels and tires, and I feel like I'm about to pass out. Anyway, so we got four drag races in, and if you saw in that last one, I bounced around quite a bit. Definitely could not have been good for Root on normal driving. That would probably show up as bad driving. <laughs> that was just, I um, was playing a game of bracket racing, just trying to win a race. So let's see if Root has said anything. And I have to say, this is the uh, weird thing. So I mentioned earlier about a car starting and Root thinking we're starting. I feel like I can confirm that it's listening via mic and it can hear exhaust sound, or maybe it just feels the rumble. Because earlier I was watching a car on a dyno machine. And As soon as it started up, the Root app instantly popped up notification that was crunching numbers. And I was just standing outside doing nothing different I've done all day. Okay, so let's open up Root. And I don't know if he'll say anything, but let's just see. Still got 12 to 20 days left. View your driving score. So it says your score as of June 12. It still has me 10 of 10. It still has me smooth braking, still has me focused driving. So as of right now, it either the AI knows that I was legally drag racing because it does have location. So Google map location would show that I was at Thunder Valley Dragway. So anyway, I'm gonna put a pause on this video for now. We're gonna come back tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning. This is what I was driving yesterday. And it's actually the first time I drove this car with the Root app. When I'm not driving this, I drive the Ram truck. So all my history on that app has been with the Ram truck so far. So yesterday was first day I was driving this car. Very powerful, a very torquey car for those that don't know about these. So anyway, it's the morning after and I just got a notification from Root saying, breaking score update. Your breaking score went down minus one. So I've obviously not driven or anything since yesterday from the races. All right, so here we go. Smooth braking down negative one. Let's see what it says. It doesn't really say anything. Now, it only went down minus one. So can I attribute that to the actual drag races? I don't know. At the end of the quarter mile runs, the braking is fairly smooth. It's most jerky after my burnout. So I do the burnout, I let go of the brake, and then I start moving and I hit the brakes kind of hard to stop before the staging lights. So it gets really jerky. So that may be something to do with it. But also I can't positively say that, that was it because on my way home, I was driving normally like I would the Ram. But the big difference is I drive this car in manual mode. It is an automatic, but it has the auto stick feature. So I run in manual mode. So when I'm braking, I downshift myself manually. Well, when I do that, it tends to lurch forward a little bit. So as of right now, just dropping negative one and I'm still up in the top of the range. So for now, I don't think the drag racing was taken into account, which damn smart AI they programmed into it if that's the, if that's the case. We shall see. I'll update this a little bit later as well to finish it off. All right, so we're here in my car because why not? We're dealing with, talking about car insurance here. So I got a notification route that my quote is ready. It says, hey, I look like a pretty good driver. Let's see what it says. I haven't checked this in a while. I actually just did a pretty long trip in my truck towing a trailer. So well, we'll see what that did to me. So let's just see. Test drive is complete. Be my quote. Select the plan that's right for you. 67.50 a month 170 a month uh good fulfills minimum state requirements that probably is going to have liability only two vehicles continue yes yeah, so that's liability only which wouldn't work anyway because we have lean and all that so let's see what this fantastic has full coverage is kind of a misnomer everybody has a different definition of full coverage but Whatever, they like to use it because people do. So let's see what it says. Covers Dot Challenger, Ram. So it's property damage, bodily injury, rental coverage. Okay, does it show deductibles or anything? Let's just go to continue. No, 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 no. I don't want to be confirming anything yet. Where's the deductibles and all that? Let's go in here. Okay. So these look like it is with $1,000 deductibles. Comprehensive, same thing, $1,000 deductibles. Let's see, property damage, 25,000. Bodily injury, 30, 60. So yeah, that's state minimums. Let's see, it includes PIP. Medical payments do not include. Roadside assistance, I understand that route automatically comes with it. You can't really take it off. You can add rental coverage, which I wonder what it adds. Looks like. $2.50 roughly, a couple to $3.
each vehicle. Okay, um, so that's it. I'm probably not gonna go with their insurance because what I'm paying right now, both my car and my truck, and a travel trailer, all three of them together for not much more than this per month. Okay, I wanna go back in here, take a look at a few other things. I don't want to view my quote right now. But I wanna to get to the other stuff. I wanna see what it showed my driver's score as. And then also I had collected a bunch of points, which said it gave me, it would give me like a $10 gift certificate or gift card or whatever, something like that. But how do I get to that? It will not let me do anything without just choosing a quote, but I don't want to do that right now. So I don't really want to hit continue here because I feel if I hit continue, I'm essentially saying I consent to everything and I'm not doing that. Yeah, I hate this. I hate that I'm not a fan. All right, so it's a little bit later, a few days later. Just want to wrap up this root app video really quick. I did not end up getting the insurance because kind of as I talked about while I was looking through the quote, it's really not saving me much. Actually, I'd end up having to pay more because I do have a travel trailer on my insurance policies. And on the other note, I deleted that app off of my phone fast. Like <laughs> I almost couldn't wait to get off my phone. It's just crazy how many permissions that thing has. I mean, it prevents you from doing screenshots, screen recording. It knows knows everything it listens it feels it is insane like i almost want to say like the name root insurance has nothing to do with insurance has more to do with they get into the root of your device they root down in there which is kind of scary and i don't like them prying that deep into things anyway hope this uh hope you liked the video hope it helped hope they kind of showed you what would root do if you went to the drag strip because that's kind of how this video started the main purpose of it anyway and maybe if you never heard of root now you know what it is now you know a little bit more about it so if you like the video please subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one